buddies so today i'm going to be talking about a topic which everyone is talking about that is the new rule where non isi marked helmets are not allowed anymore so if you are wearing a helmet which is not isi marked then cops would stop you and you can get fined so now buddies whenever there is a new rule that comes out there are pros and cons of it so let us talk about this well i understand it's a really good move by the government on one hand because there are a lot of cheap helmets that are sold in the market helmets are sold right from 250 rupees which don't give you any protection at all they are sold on food paths and people buy those helmets and wear those helmets just to avoid traffic uh, violation fines but do this do those helmets give you any protection no even if you fall at 20 km an hour those helmets are going to break and the rider can kill himself so it's a good move by the government to ban non isi marked helmets so that at least there is some standardization in this industry and the helmets are manufactured to a standard where they can at least take a fall at about 80 or 90 km an hour yes so this is a good side but the bad side is that there are many good helmets which are available like right from ajc ri shoei and blah blah mt ls2 many of them which are available which are non isi marked i personally am an advocate of using the best helmets possible i have always said buy snell certified because snell is probably the greatest certification in the world but now why is our government not allowing certifications like snell ec dot and uh, sharp etc because there can be two reasons to it now one reason is of course they could be lobbying now lobbying means that they could be indian helmet manufacturing brands who could be shaking hands with the government and saying you ban all imported helmets that way indian helmet manufacturing companies make more sales and that is how uh, more money is generated for indian helmet manufacturing companies and government also kind of gets benefited some way and i don't want to get into any controversy so i am not going to be talking about that that is one thing and if you can think about the other thing that is safety about motorcycle gear is still at a grassroots level in india even our parents don't understand why we wear jackets gloves riding boots and all of these correct so the law makers the uh, regulators in the government department they don't understand what is snell certification what is ec certification and other things for them isi is the best certification because that is indian certification now it is our responsibility as riders because we would like to wear good quality high certifications what we can do is we can make a you know union together and we can file a petition to the government and explain that snell and other certifications are much higher standard than isi yes we should do that i have also signed up a petition today and let's see what happens but these things they take a long time because as i said safety understanding of safety is still at a very grassroots level but there is also another side to it there are a few helmet brands which come into india but they are not original they are fakes so they come with ec marking dot marking but they are not original certifications so now if government allows saying that you can buy imported helmets with ece or dot how will the government regulate them how will they know if they are original helmets which are being imported or not so this is where the issue comes in to the government that is which certification should they really allow and should they allow imported helmets or not 
So that is why they are allowing only ISMR helmets. So let us take it positively that it's a good step forward. But also let us go ahead and make the government aware of uh, imported brands and import other certifications worldwide. And also remember, it is not just India that is having a law of only a certain amount, I mean, a certain certification. But even Europe has, European Union, they have their own law of which certifications they allow. America has their own law of which certifications they allow. So every country has this issue because they believe only in that certification. So that is it, friends. You know, I, I tried to explain both pros and cons of uh, this move that has been done by our government. So till that time, what can we do? You know, till the time this issue is not resolved, uh, where cops would stop us if we are wearing non-ISI marked helmets. Well, see, the problem would be only for people who are doing day-to-day -day commuting. If you are doing weekend, early morning breakfast rides, it's not going to be a problem for you because most of the time, early morning, when you go onto the highway and ride, no one is going to stop you. No cops are going to stop you most, most of the time. But if you're doing day-to-day -day commuting, that is when you're very vulnerable to the cops and they can stop you and ask you which certification of the helmet that you're wearing. Till the time this issue doesn't get resolved where other certifications are also allowed, I would suggest you to buy a helmet from a good brand, a good Indian brand. Many good helmets are available for about 15, 1600 rupees. You can buy one. It's not a lot of money. Keep it with you and use it for commuting, not for fast rides. In city commuting, you're doing only about 50, 60 kilometers an hour. So those helmets are absolutely perfect. But for your weekend rides, when you go really fast, use your high-end helmets. So that is what you can do for now and together let us file a petition and let us educate the government officials about other certifications so that is it buddies thank you very much for watching and if you're not subscribed to me you're missing out on about 650 videos and i'm there on instagram also my link to my instagram account is in the description of this video bye bye